Oh! He's got my bait. <laughs> what just happened? This is Ryan. He's my fishing buddy and has been since we were kids. He messaged me in mid-October saying let's go fishing, so we headed out for a session targeting the pike in our local muddy river. The river was pretty flooded and the fishing tough, so we agreed that we'd try again soon. Although unsuccessful, that trip sparked my enthusiasm and I became motivated to try and catch a big river pike. I've caught 20 and even 30 pound pike from lakes in the past, but a giant flowing water predator would be on another level. We'll catch up with Ryan a little later in this video for a session which turned out to be very eventful. For now though, I was planning some trips to rivers I knew held massive pike. Well, it's another cold and dark morning and we're going pike fishing again. This morning we're heading to quite a famous river, the Hampshire Avon, somewhere that has no doubt produced so many big pike over the years. But whether or not it does for us today, that's a different story. I prepared my kit and set off, along with Kenny and his brother, who'd offered to show me around this particular stretch. I lowered in a small dead bait before attempting to sit down on the log behind me. A few hours passed in that first area before we decided to get on the move and walk down to a weir pool nearby. This new spot looked great. Loads of fast moving water with a deep slack area just in front of us. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my There he is. Oh yes! <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, that was insane. Love that, love it. Watching yes, that all oh. happen. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Alright. Oh! No! You're joking. No! Did that really just happen? It just fell off. Unreal. Looks <laughs> alright. Yeah, just fell off. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Fast fishing, man. That's. <laughs> I then chose to pick up the lure rod and work some other areas of the pool. It does look quite nice actually, there's a bit of a slower, a little bit slower water, isn't it? Oh! Yep! Oh, my drag wasn't tight enough. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Mate. Straight in, yeah. yeah. That was a good hit in that well, that's nice. nice one, man. Yeah, mate. Show me what you got. Oh, hey! Lovely pike. I wouldn't say this is is as big as the one that um, got away. So we've still got work to do. <laughs> Next up was Kenny with a really fast take on the float rod. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where is it? Can't see where your lines are. Oh, it's all the way out there. <laughs> where do you want to go, Ken? Oh, it's a trout. Oh my God. It's a bit, it's a, I'll get, I'll, I'll get my line out of the way. <laughs> I'm sure it's a... a uh, That's not, that might be a salmon. No. It didn't look like a pike, did it? It's a trout. Massive. It's just... Massive. He's off. Oh, he's off. Oh. Wait, was that salmon? That was a salmon. I don't know. It looked like a trout. Well, it had... It, 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 it was like that on the head. Was it? It had like the... The teeth. The tooth. No. Maybe it was. Dang. Get it back out there. I don't know. It was very red. It wasn't a brown, it was a No, no, I know. Uh, it, it didn't look... I just thought it was a rainbow, but then it, it was not right to be a rainbow. Oh, that was so weird. That 
Moving back downstream, I did eventually catch another pike, but again, not the size that I was looking for. We walked back up the stretch and fished hard until evening, but no more pike showed up. The trip to the Avon was great, but definitely left me wanting more. A week later, myself and Ryan got out on the local river again, this trip being much more successful. Big pike. Whoa. Ryan, get a bait on that. <laughs> we just saw a big pike swirl behind us. Ryan's put his float on it. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that an impressive pike? What a beautiful creature as well. At around 17 pounds, this was a solid fish, but an opportunity to fish a new river soon after had me really excited. Today I'm continuing my quest for a big river pike. My mission has taken me to the River Test down in Hampshire. It's a chalk stream, a lot of clear water, quite a lot of fast water too, and loads of trout. And that's why I'm trying to catch pike today with this giant trout lure. I can't be sure if it's gonna work. I have also brought uh, dead baits, which I'm gonna fish underneath the float later on in the, in the day, should this not um, do me any bites. But I'm feeling confident. It's a beautiful river to fish, and I'm gonna try my absolute best today to finally get myself the big river pike that I'm after. So let's get started. Casting the big trout lure quickly resulted in a couple of follows. Quality fish chasing the lure in towards the bank, but not actually taking it. Oh, massive one, massive one. It's on it, it's on it, it's on it. Turn and spooked off. Spooked off. I say massive one. 10 pounder. That was a buzz. That was a serious buzz, Alex. Heading back to the van, I decided that a change of tactic was needed. I've walked back up the opposite side of the river where there's a nice slack. It was nearby to here where I had the follow from the pike earlier. Taking my knife, I opened a bag of herring dead baits. I was going to set up my trace and mount one of these underneath my pike float. If you're interested in learning more about the tactics we use in our videos, we've put a link to our second channel, Fishing Tutorials, in the description down below. There we post instructional fishing content every week. But yeah, I've rigged it up now. That, I'm just gonna drop down in the slack water on the near side, see if the pike's still around. It's gone, it's gone. You're kidding! That was instant! <sighs> we are in! Yeah. Oh. That was so quick. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Straight away. 
Oh, wow. That was so cool. There he is. My first bite of today on the river test. I don't want to be greedy, but I want to get one that's like twice as big as this. <laughs> Oh, Alex, 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 I've had a bite. Yeah, go for it. That is so annoying. Why does that happen? At least he gets a lovely little dead bait for lunch, that pike. Me, on the other hand, I'm a little bit peed off. No way. He's just been eating. The float's gone down, the float's gone down. Oh, goodness me. There we go. We've hooked one. I think it might be bigger than the other one, Act. Oh yeah, he's bigger than the other one. Oh no, he's about the same. No, he's bigger. He's bigger. That was seriously cool. Oh, he's a beauty. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, look at that. That is a lovely pike. Get in there. Yeah. Oh, yes. That makes up so much for the fish that I um, just completely missed earlier. That one ended up in the net. Fishing can make you so happy about five minutes after feeling really sad about that fish that I completely missed. <sighs> there we go. Well, that was hard one, but I got another pike and it's definitely a bit bigger than the one I caught earlier. Took some perseverance and actually these pikes seem to be striking baits that are um, not too static, like not just sitting on the bottom. So I was just like walking along every now and then twitching the bait, moving it around a little bit, you know, yanking on the, uh, on the braid and making the float bobble around. It seemed to grip, you know, get the fish's attention. It's been, a, been quite a tough day, just the two pike, but glad to finally get a better one. Of course, I worked hard to try and find another pike, but the light faded and I ended up getting pretty cold. Driving back towards home, I once again thought about the local river. It had produced a decent pike. Maybe heading back down there would eventually reward me with the monster I so desperately wanted. Ryan joined me on the bank once more on what turned out to be an incredibly prolific day. Oh yes, Ryan. And loads of these little ones. Whoa! Flashed me. <laughs> oh. Did you let go of it. Oh, he took. He came back up on the surface. Please come back. And just let go. Oh, got him again. Got him again. Got him again. Okay, ready? Out. We ended up getting bites pretty much consistently throughout the session. Better fishing than I've ever experienced on this muddy little river. Oh, that was big. Oh, you got my bait. Yeah. I'm just, my hands are wet, my clothes are wet, my feet are wet. Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> what just happened? It jumped from the water into your net. You didn't even need to net it. Straight into the net. Look at that beauty. Incredible markings on this one. Now, every single pike, without fail, is unique in its patterns. Like They don't have just a default pattern. Every single one is different. And uh, it's quite cool to be able to see sometimes like recognize certain fish. 
showing that uh, catch and release does work, like multiple captures of the same fish over a period of time. But this one, I don't know. <laughs> I might have caught it before, but I wouldn't know. I don't have a memory that can remember things like that, to be honest. Before leaving that day, we decided to try one more spot. We'd caught so many fish, I just hoped that Ryan would catch a personal best. He needed to break 10 pounds to beat the fish that he caught in Spain with us many years ago. Oh! Yeah, got it, he got it. That's a bite, mate. Yeah. He's gone through, gone through the reeds a bit there. There. Oh, oh. oh, you got one, you got one. Oh, I've got a bite as well. No way. <laughs> what is going on? God, I love pike fishing, man. Good, good session today on the river. Incredible pike fishing. Two bites in like, oh, oh they, were, they were like seconds apart. Yeah. Mad, absolutely mad. Sometimes fishing does just boil down to luck. We'd caught a lot of fish, but no big one. Effort equals reward in most cases. So once again, a couple of weeks later, after some floods, we were back down the river. It's gonna happen today, man. I feel it. 15 pounds, no, 20, no, 25 pound river pike. You're eager, your rod's already set up. Yeah, no, super, super keen and tied up rig last night. <laughs> None of them are very smart, but they'll do the job. Fingers crossed, man. I, I really want today to be the day that Ryan gets himself a PB. Only needs to be like 12 pounds. <laughs> if I catch a PB, wow, that would be a bit terrifying. It'd have to be over 30 pound, Carl. That's not gonna happen. Oh, well, you never know, we might catch 30 today. I suppose there's always a chance. They're here. Well the tide's come in quite a bit now and to be honest when the, when the tide gets to this stage and the water goes really still that seems to be quite a good time for a bite but nothing's happened yet. Ryan's got one. Come on Ryan. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. It's really nice. Oh. Yeah, baby. Woo. That could be it. That could be it. That could be, it. That could be Ryan's PV. <laughs> That's a good fish. We unhooked and then weighed the fish at just under 15 pounds. For Ryan, this was a long-awaited catch and he'd worked hard for it the last few winters. It was an impressive specimen too, a very long and muscular fish. I love the scales bites I look. Wow, that is an incredible creature. Good work, bro. Good work. Yay! Lovely, and now I'm just covered in slime and mud and cold. <laughs> but worth it. I couldn't have been happier for him and it just shows sometimes you don't have to travel far to catch a personal best. In fact, my biggest ever pike was caught from a tiny one acre pond. Check out the video on screen now to see me land a 30 pound plus giant.